All right, everybody, it's time for tonight's first guest. Now, he is an interactive speaker, and he's written this new memoir called Lean On Me. Please welcome back to the show, Scott Maloney. <laughs> Scott, thank you very much. Welcome. Everyone, keep it going for Steve Katz for six years. Yeah. Scott? Yes, sir. Welcome back. Now, we wanted to have you on the show because we know that you've written your new book, Lean On Me. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your story here because it's a very serious one. Yes. You um, suffered a traumatic brain injury as a result of an accident. And because of this, your family was actually told that you were not going to live. This was a very uh, serious moment for your family. But things did turn out okay. It's quite a miracle, but let's start off by telling people uh, what the injury was. Okay, sure. Uh, well, they weren't told I wasn't going to make it. They were told I was already gone. Mm -hmm. It was September 18th, 2004, my senior year of college at Becker College in, in Worcester. Um, I locked my keys, uh, common to uh, contrary, or contrary to common belief, uh, it wasn't um, a drinking and driving accident, mm -hmm. which is how many injuries happen, or fatalities. Uh, it was actually a fall. I locked my keys inside my dorm room at Becker College, and rather than call campus police, I said, no, it's not a big deal. I'll just, uh, you know, maneuver, uh, I'll navigate the outside my third story, uh, third floor window and onto a tree branch and crawl into my dorm room window mm -hmm. because uh, I was given a sense of, a false sense of courage as a result of uh, being under the influence of alcohol. Mm -hmm. When you fell, obviously the injury was very bad mm -hmm. and uh, you were in Worcester, I believe. That's right. And, and they brought you to the hospital, they called your parents late at night, it was three in the morning. They came out and, and like you said, the doctor said you were gone. Uh, they pleaded with the surgeon to operate on you they wanted some sign of uh, hope there. And uh, the surgeon who had a son your age decided, okay, I'm gonna try, even though he didn't think that anything was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. He operated, uh, you made it through the night, and then there was a very long period of rehabilitation for you. What are some of the things that your family went through at that point? I know that you were in the hospital for a very long time. Well, they were told that this might be as good as it gets, being spending, uh, the rest of my life in a vegetative state mm -hmm. but I was physically alive but it wasn't really a lot it w wouldn't wouldn't have been a life mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been um, but uh, somehow through the miracles of uh, modern medicine or faith you know sometimes it takes both mm -hmm. uh, I was able to turn my life around and uh, and walk in front of you today in front of this fine audience <laughs> Now, we, we do have to mention this was a long period of time because you did go back to school. Um, you eventually got a job. You, you had some time there where you didn't have full mobility of your body, and even today you're still doing physical therapy, right? That's right. And, and how long did it take for you to get all this movement back? Because I, I was reading now, you actually ran a marathon? I didn't run one marathon. You, you ran one? I ran four. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Now... <laughs> With my knee the way it is, <laughs> I still haven't run one yet, but uh, that's, that's fantastic. And you actually, when you ran the marathon, you're, you're pretty much your whole family was there, right? Didn't they all run? Uh, not the whole family, most of them. Most of them. Uh, my father, my sister, my brother, and my sister's boyfriend, now he's my brother-in-law. Yeah, how about that, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, of your brother, um, when you were in the hospital, and uh, they, they told, the doctors told your family that there is a point where you can actually hear what people are saying, That's right. but you cannot react to it. Sure. So um, a lot of things were said to you, and one of the things was that your brother, he wanted you to, to make it because he said, you're going to be the speaker at his wedding, you're going to be the best man. That's right. And eventually he got married, and you were the best man. It's true. Uh, it's true. Yeah. And now... What, the, the YouTube video from that speech is online? It's gone yes, viral? Yes, it's, it's on YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Scott Maloney Chat, uh, and that's one of the videos. And It hasn't gone viral. It doesn't have, it's not like the uh, Charlie bit me. It's nothing like that, yeah. but, uh, but it's pretty cool. 
But in, in the speech, you know, you, you may expect it's going to be a tearjerker speech, but you actually did a lot of comedy in yeah, it, right? Yeah, yes, I did. Which is great because that's your personality. It, it, the thing about the book that's fantastic is that it's your memoir, but your mom writes her point of view too. So in certain days, you describe how you felt, and then you get your mom's point of view. Yeah. How was that writing the book with your mom? It was great. We've always been a close, uh, tight-knit family, mm -hmm. but uh, this brought my mother and I even closer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're solid now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, most uh, high school, college kids, they think, oh, I don't want my parents anywhere near me. I, I want them to stay out of my room. Yeah. But uh, I had to rely on my folks for everything, mm -hmm. for everything. Uh, and, you know, at the time, you know, a few months before I was injured, I didn't want them in my room. Right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, typical. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just a story about yeah. how... Uh, when your parents love you, you know it because they're there for you. And in this moment, they were, they were there for you. That's right. Um, you now do this speaking engagement where it's called I Got Lucky. It's your story. You call yourself an interactive speaker. And you talk to kids in high schools and colleges. Recently, you were all over Providence. Uh, what do you do when you get to a school and, and you talk about I Got Lucky? Well, I have a few programs to deliver. But uh, the one, the most in demand one, the one that... Uh, has a major sponsor is called I Got Lucky mm -hmm. and in that program I speak on the destructive often self-destructive decisions anyone can make under the influence of alcohol I give real-world examples and I don't just put the audience to sleep with the whole oh, I believe in you rigmarole it's nothing like that uh, I'm, it's entertaining as well as educational mm -hmm. I give real-world examples and then when I have the attention of the audience I share with them my personal story of how I truly did get lucky my senior year of college. Mm -hmm. You had talked about peer pressure with these kids. And what do you, what do you tell them? All right, well, that's a good question. Um, if we can get personal here for a sec. Mm -hmm. um, everyone has a role model, regardless of age, gender, orientation, background, whatever. Uh, do you ever, who's your role model? Well, my, my role model would be uh, my parents. They're sitting right here. Yeah! yeah. I got two of them. All right. Well, any... Uh, young person uh, who's faced with peer pressure, good way to look at it is don't make any decisions you wouldn't make in front of your role model. Mm -hmm. If you're out with your buddies and they say, oh yeah, have a few beers, but uh, you know, whoever's the least drunk will drive home. Would you make that decision in front of your father? Mm. No. Right. You wouldn't drink and drive in front of your father. So don't drink and drive when your father's not around. It's that simple. <clears throat> but on the other hand, my mother, <laughs> I'm just kidding, she would not be happy with me. Uh, Scott, I do want to mention that you'll be uh, speaking at Holy Cross on April 9th, that's a Thursday night. The book is Lean On Me, and yes, Scott, you were on the show a few years ago, we welcome you back, so we want to make sure that we give you one of our yeah. mugs yeah. for being on the program. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. The book is Lean On Me. You can find it at Amazon. Check it out online. He's Scott Maloney. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Right, right after this. <laughs>